Welcome back to Max Reaction. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing good. I'm doing pretty good myself. Let me know how you're doing down below. Let me know where you're from. But anyway, for now, we're going to react to something again related to World War II. And we've made a couple videos about General MacArthur. And this is not about General MacArthur. Um, I had a couple subscribers tell me, hey, you know, MacArthur's great, or MacArthur did this, but there was another general that did just as much, or even more, and um, I didn't know who he was, and they told me he was General Wainwright, so there's another general there that did plenty. Um, I didn't know who he was, so I looked him up, and uh, apparently his father died in the Philippines in the, in the Spanish War, um... His grandfather also died in a war, and so the Civil War here in the United States. But General Wainwright, he managed to live through uh, World War II in the Philippines. He actually took over as Mac MacArthur um, left to go to Australia. General Wainwright took over all the troops for a while in the Philippines, fought the Japanese, but eventually fell into... Uh, being a POW, prisoner of war, and he was the highest ranking officer in the United States military that served as prisoner of war in World War II, and I find that mighty interesting. Um, so we're going to check this video out. It's U.S. Welcomes General Wainwright back. He, he survived. Apparently his nickname after the, the prison camps was skinny because he had lost so much weight. He didn't get treated any differently as as a higher ranking uh, military member. He got treated just like anybody else in the camps. So he uh, got to experience all the negative, negative, terrible things that all the troops had to endure in the camp. So um, no special privileges there. But he managed to live... Uh, Unlike his father and his grandfather, where they di died in their wars, he managed to live. And he also got awarded the Medal of Honor. So you can direct him uh, and look in his story, and he, he probably saved many, many lives, many lives. So let's check out his warm welcome back to uh, the United States like he deserved. And... Uh, he was just like a temporary general in the Philippines, and after the war, after the prison camp, after everything he uh, went through, he became a full-fledged general after that, as he should. So let's check this out. Hero Bataan. Home from Bataan and Corregidor, and from Japanese imprisonment, is General Jonathan M. Wainwright. Greeted at San Francisco by the Western Defense Commander and his grateful fellow citizens. He is skinny. His sister, Mrs. Frederick Mears, rushed into the General's arms. As for the first time in five years, Skinny Wainwright walks on United States soil. That's awesome. I'm glad he lived. Along both sides of Market Street, half a million San Franciscans lined the two-mile route of the formal parade. Honoring the last ditch defender of the Philippines and his valiant men. True hero. True hero, my friends. Accompanied by his son, Merchant Marine Commander Jonathan Wainwright V, the general saw a cross section of the power that avenged Corregidor. Now, arriving in Washington, he meets the brave lady he married 34 years ago for the first time since she was forced to sail away from the Ooh. Philippines in early 1941. Together again, they receive the acclaim of hundreds of thousands on a hero's tour through Washington. How exciting is this to be able to come home to something like this? Seeing that appreciation, feeling it. Knowing you fought the good fight and lived. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Love 
Welcome, Skinny. Welcome home. <laughs> the Washington Monument, where citizens of the nation's capital are masked for civic ceremonies. Wow. A man who has tasted both the bitterness of defeat and the joy of victory as much as any man of our time arrives to be given the key to Washington. Disabled American veterans welcome their newest, most famous member. Addressing the great crowd, Jonathan Wainwright delivers an important message to his countrymen. My comrades and I have been profoundly touched by all these evidences of your great regard. I thank you in their name and my own. This is truly such a welcome as a man dreams of. A locked way behind barbed wire and the bayonets of cruel jailers. It is the surest evidence I could have that you still keep before you the words which I know fired you to great effort after our sorrowful defeat. Remember Batan, remember Corregidor. Yes, remember Corregidor and Batan. And on the White House lawn, General Wainwright receives from the President of the United States the Congressional Medal of Honor. It gives me more pleasure than most anything I've ever done to present General <laughs> Wainwright with a Congressional Medal of Honor. Yes. I... Just a little snippet of the past. Um, and I feel ashamed that I didn't really know Wainwright's story. It's not really told. Not near as much as MacArthur's story. And I think it should be told, so I decided to react to this video. Tell you a little bit of history about him. And now you know. Now you can remember. And now we can uh, always remember what he did. And another side note I was reading on him. Um, he was a type of general that didn't just hold back behind his men. He would be on the front line with them fighting in the pits of uh, hell, as I want to say, uh, in wars like this. So, man a man, a leader of leader, and now we know more about him. At least I do. Maybe you already knew. But anyway, those are my thoughts, my feelings. Did you know anything about him? I know some of you did because you mentioned him. You said, yeah, MacArthur. He was there, but Wainwright, he did something special. So I had to check it out because I absolutely love history. History should never be forgotten. History should always be remembered. If you forget history, what happens? History can repeat itself. It might, might, what might, it might repeat itself anyway. But at least we can remember. Get what I'm saying? Do you hear what I'm throwing out there? But anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let me know what I should react to next. Hopefully you've uh, joined the Max Reaction family. If you like the reactions, consider subscribing. I don't say it often, but I'm going to say it now. And I'll see you next time. Peace.